Okay, so uh, back to the uh, Obosh version, and actually I realize uh, that was uh, Jagenta in there. Let's uh, correct that right now. Okay, so back to the uh, back to the Obosh version. So you know, I think it was worth it to uh, give the Jagenta version a shot again. And what we learned was actually that it is noticeably faster. We uh, can get quick kills uh, more frequently with um, with uh, with Abbott. But um, but uh, what we also learned though is that this version is probably better. And uh, but it's important to know why it's better. And uh, I mean twofold. First of all, Season Pyromancer does absolutely grind better. Um, I know that seems like a common sense thing to say, but you know we did actually. Um, we did actually run out of gas a lot more with that version, whereas we almost never run out of gas with the Season Pyromancer version, although we do still sometimes. Um, but also, uh, sometimes we got stuck with multiple copies of Blood Moon, and in, in some of those games we actually had some number of Abbots to that game. And very notably, if those were Season Pyromancers, we could have just pitched those uh, Blood Moons when they weren't good. Um, so that tells me that uh, Season Pyromancer, at least right now, um, the format's also pretty mid-rangey. And, uh, you know, we got outgrounded, outgrinded a few times, which is a kind of an unusual experience. Um, so, you know, kind of good to know why exactly, uh, why exactly this version is probably better, at least right now. But I can certainly see the Giganta version being better in certain environments. Uh, Abbott is a very strong card. It always felt very good, uh, to play. Um, you know, but, uh, it's just, uh... It, it, you know, the, C, the Season Pyromancer version, and, and, you know, having access to Obosh is a much more powerful, you know, mid-range, uh, late-game type card. Um, but another, but one thing we did learn, though, is that Four Horizon Lands seemed uh, very doable, and with no burn in sight for a long time, and Blood Moon to turn off the damage, um, if, you know, if, presumably even if we did face burn or other aggressive strategies, the fact, sometimes it's actually a good thing that it can shut off our, uh, our Horizon Lands, because it does shut off the card draw, but it also shuts off the damage. So, um, um, you know, it, it might be overkill, and uh, since we, since our curve does increase a bit with Season Pyromancer, uh, and since we have more things to do with more mana, like use the Season Pyromancer token ability, it's possible that uh, four Horizon Lands is um is too many. But uh, it did seem uh, it did seem like we were cycling these a lot, and they were very rarely a problem. So we're gonna try four Horizon Lands again, and uh, you know maybe that maybe that's the uh, takeaway from the uh, Abbott version that um, you know may pay dividends even if we don't actually stick with it. So, so sometimes there can be an advantage to trying out uh, something else even if that something else doesn't pan out. And here maybe it's the uh, four Horizon Lands. Let's give it a shot. Uh, let's try to get a feel. One week we can actually conceptually try to imagine whether four or two Horizon Lands would be better. Is we can imagine that the uh, the Fiery Islets are the extra copies, and the Sunbaked Canyons are the um, the copies we would have drawn anyway. Um, and we can do that because, I mean, we can really do it with either land, but Sunbaked Canyon, I think, is marginally better between the two, simply because, um, you know, we can bluff being Burn or Blue-White Prowess a little bit better. Um, we are, I don't think we're really bluffing anybody about being Blue-Red Prowess, because, uh, because um, you know, Storming Entity kind of demands... Uh, um, Metamorphose, which uh, of course conflicts with Obosh. Uh, in theory, we could play. In, th in theory, though, Storming Entity itself doesn't conflict with Obosh. Um, and actually, Red White Prowess. You know, now that I think about it, actually. It, it, anyway, we're we're not really bluffing either, but either person. But you know, in theory, if we lead Mountain Swift Spear, people could put us on burn, especially for a second land as Sunbaked Canyon. Anyway, bottom line is Sunbaked Canyon. Uh, just kind of like a little bit marginally more likely to throw our opponents off somehow. So we'll, we can just imagine the Fiery Islets are the extra the extra um, Horizon Lands um, and get a feel for whether or not you know we, we use their card draw or whether or not they just dealt us extra damage for no reason. So let's try to make a note of that and let's see how we do.